Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another Washington Football Maniacs video here. I am Greg. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to put out content on a daily basis, if possible. Maybe not always on the daily, but at least as frequently as I possibly can. And in today's video, I want to talk about the comments that Jack Del Rio, our defensive coordinator for the Washington Commanders, um, spoke about recently in the news media. And we're talking about his comments on Twitter uh, comparing the George, uh, George Floyd um, situation back uh, a year or so ago, uh, comparing it to the January 6th, uh, situation at the Capitol, uh, calling the Capitol situation a dust up. And it's gotten a lot of folks riled up, certainly. Um, so, John Kim, uh, ESPN staff writer, uh, Washington beat writer, um, reports on this as uh, Washington Commanders defensive coordinator Jack Del Rio defended his tweets about the upcoming cr congressional hearings on the January 6, 2021 insurrection, saying he wants to know why there's not similar energy devoted to the riots in the summer of 2020 as there is to what he termed a dust-up at the U.S. Capitol. Del Rio tweeted Monday in response to a tweet about upcoming hearings on the events of January 6, uh, quote, stating, would love to understand the whole story about why the summer of riots, looting, burning, and the destruction of personal property is never discussed, but this is. Uh, hashtag common sense. Why are we not looking into those things? If we're going to talk about it, why are we not looking into those things? Del Rio said. I can look at Images on the TV, people's livelihoods are being destroyed, businesses are being burned down, no problem. And then we have a dust-up at the Capitol, nothing burned down, and we're going to make a, that a major deal. I just think it's kind of two standards, and if we apply the same standard and we're going to be reasonable with each other, let's have a discussion. That's all it was. Let's have a discussion. And so, certainly... A lot of people are up in arms about it. They're wanting to cancel Jack Del Rio over this. Um, and you got folks who are calling for Jack Del Rio's head. They want him fired over his comments. Now, I don't like to get political on this channel. This channel is not about political commentary at all. It's about football, and I really like to keep it really grounded into football. I don't like to cross over into politics left or right it doesn't matter to me but I, i'm just going to make this video and this is going to be the one-time thing right so here's my thoughts we live in a country where free speech has been i think obviously it's been attacked and because of that if you do sh tend to share your comments your your free speech comments your your beliefs or whatever it is if it doesn't go, you know, with the flow of, you know, the certain political parties, then that political party, you know, those beliefs, those people who go with those beliefs, they want you canceled. And it, and I'm not talking about the left per se. I'm not talking about the right per se. I'm either party. It's like either side wants the other silent. And, you know, in this case... You know, I'm hearing, I'm looking on Twitter, and I'm seeing these people like, why aren't we calling for Jack Del Rio's head? He needs to be fired for his comments. Guess what? He has a right to his comments. You know, well, if you agree or not, I don't exactly agree that the January 6th thing was it just mere dust up, okay? I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with the January 6th thing. Um, I will say that I think that a lot of people did go out to the Capitol in peaceful protest, and then there were a lot of people who went out to the Capitol to cause trouble. I mean, and guess what? It's the very exact same thing that you saw in a lot of the protests around the country for 
uh, George Floyd as well. You saw a lot of people who went out to peacefully protest, and then you saw a lot of people who went out to cause trouble, to cause you know, major harm to, to businesses, to people's livelihoods. I mean, you did see that. So I understand where Jack Del Rio is coming from in that point of view. And in those, in those terms, I understand completely. But do I agree with everything that he says? Absolutely not. Do I think that he needs to be fired over his comments? Absolutely not. I think we got to get to a point in this country where we stop just wanting to fire people because they have, you know, a, a certain belief or, you know, they, they voice their opinion. Just because we don't agree with their opinion doesn't mean that we need to, you know, just silence them and cancel them. We need to get past that. You know, that's a snowflake mentality in my opinion. Um, and you probably will want to cancel me over that opinion. That's fine, whatever. But... I just do not agree with that one bit. I look at Jack Del Rio, I want to judge him by the performance that he has been as far as a defensive coordinator for the Washington Commanders, and that in itself alone. I don't care what his political leanings are, left, right, middle, whatever it is. If he can produce a solid defense for this team that's all that matters if he can have guys like chase young montez sweat um drawn pain while we still have him you know guys like that if he can produce those guys into all pro players then you know that's what i want to see i want to see him help to take this team to a super bowl that's all i care about I could give two cents worth of whatever <laughs> what his political standings are. Would I rather him stay silent on his political beliefs in the media? Yeah, but guess what? That's his own right. And he's going to have to deal with that himself. But the long and short of all of this in this video is he has a right to his own opinion. And just like you guys have a right to your own opinions, I have a right to my own opinion. And we shouldn't have to shut people up just because they have certain opinions of things. If you're going to get offended, get offended. You know, I get offended of, of things, you know, yeah, makes me upset. I get over it and I move on because life is too short. You know, we have to deal with it the best we can. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> We have to deal with other things, folks. For instance, it looks like the Washington Commanders are going to wind up being homeless here in the next few years. So that's going to be another video, and I will cover that probably in the next video. So anyway, you're probably not going to like this video, but if you do, please you know, give it a like. Uh, share it with your buddies. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let's talk about this. I mean, you know, hey, I am... I am more than open to talk about this. Just no personal attacks or anything like that. Let's talk about this like grown adults. You know, I, I am always open to hear both sides of the argument on this because, you know, I am not right on everything. As much as I joke with family and friends, you know, saying that, you know, I'm, I'm usually right. <laughs> I'm not. I really, I'm not. And... I just, I like learning from other people's point of views because it really helps to, for me, I think, to shape a more well-rounded view of life. And that, I feel like, makes me a more richer person. Does that make sense? So um, I just want all of us to, to be richer people in the long run. All right. Take care. Peace, everybody. And I will see you in the next one.